I don't know who wrote the list, <laughs> but when I look at myself, God gave me a physique. This is Jim Brown, the most devastating ball carrier in the history of football. I was 6'2", 232 pounds, and I had quickness and speed, and the word got around that I was a different kind of guy. An animal, a real raw talent, man. See, my father made me understand it. He said, watch this, boy. He don't run out of bounds. He gonna put his head down, he gonna get some more. And when he got tackled, he said, watch how slow he get up. And he said, you know what that is? He said, in life, just get up slow, cause you gonna have to pick yourself up a bunch of times. Ain't no need to rush it. And this dude never missed a game. Every Sunday we watched, Jim Brown was on the field. Jim Brown's the greatest back to ever play. He was a bad man. And not only on the field, Jim Brown being an activist had an impact on me as well. He was around at a time, man, where America was trying to change the civil rights. And for him to be an athlete and get involved in it was like inspirational because I went, man, it's Jim Brown saying we got to stand up, stay together. That was Jim Brown out there on the front line. He also was very keen on economic issues which uh, for uh, most black athletes, they, they never ever were connected with that. Jim Brown tried to bring the community together in uh, ways that had nothing to do with sports. And he pursued acting and credibly. He had some good roles and played in some good movies. I want more mental stimulation. Uh, I want to have uh, a, a hand in the struggle that is taking place in our country. His footprint was so big, that the respect you have for him and how he's changed the game and set the blueprint for all the backs who played this game is very impactful. You know, you gotta look for a little black kid back in the 60s, man. This is doable, you mean? And so, you know, I mean, you know, he was quite an inspiration.